<laughs> All right, Matt. Cle clearly, clearly. Maybe I'm not watching enough, I guess. I just. Netflix, my guy. Just, you, you, they already have a great one on there, Evangelion. Go ahead and watch it. We're not going to watch Evangelion. <laughs> We're going to watch Suga versus Lord Bahamut. Lord Bahamut. Queen. All right. This is going to be an interesting one. I used to play this matchup a lot in Smash 4. Uh, Ow, man. It's a little different. People playing slow tiers? Stop playing low tiers, guys. We'll play, pick a high tier. All right. Anyways, let's get into this. <laughs> so, I mean, where Yoshi's going to make his, his money in this one is going to be off stage. Of course, you've got that drift as well that just makes it it's really hard for Ganon to deal with because he's so slow and you don't know, he doesn't know when you're going to commit. Um, I'll do a punish here. But Spacing. The, the thing is, Ganon does not need that many reads to end this. No, he doesn't. That's the, that's the real strength of this character is that, okay, you just took, oh. you just took, you just took 60 damage there. He yeah, made one even read. It's even game. It's an even game. All despite all these re these combos and oh, oh no tech knock everywhere. And now he's winning. Yeah. And now he's winning. Not and anymore. Now it's well, that, well, that's the thing about uh, that's the thing about Ganon. Uh, you have to also watch your landings because, like I said, like he's really, really slow, really big powerhouse. If you think about any the trope of the character, honestly, he's not necessarily a glass cannon, but he would be considered something like heavy hitter, heavy damage, heavy weight, all this stuff. So you kind of have that in one package. So you kind of have to be wary of your tools and your survivability with the character. Like you do have the weight to do it, but the the, the speed and the falling and all that, you can be pretty much combo food. That's why they say Ganon isn't the greatest, but this game at least is a solid mid here. In, in, in the eyes of many, I would say. I don't want somebody to go ahead and tweet at me like, yo, man, Nairo's, tweet, N Nairo's tier list has him at, like, high tier. I'll be like, bro, I've <laughs> a high tier on Elite Smash, maybe. Okay, he, yeah, so now <laughs> he went for the, the tech in place read again, but uh, I don't think Sugar will ever give that to him again. He's still, he's, he's having nightmares about how much damage he just took he earlier. Really, he really is, and it's kind of slowed him down a little bit. That's kind of one of those things about the character is the damage output that he has actually slows down in your momentum when you realize that your your character's weight does struggle will struggle against okay. Ganon. Shogi keeps landing these eggs off stage and he could be going for the follow up, but he's Here, he's, he's almost expecting oh. them not to hit, I think. Okay, platform. tries to break the shield, but mm -hmm. Uh, well, okay, that so worked out for him somehow. I think one thing that we're seeing Suga kind of like go for a little bit is he's trying to react to his uh, Bahamut when he's off the screen, when he's on the ledge. So he's, you saw, we saw him go for back air earlier. The one thing that I am seeing him do here is quickly turn around with that down there. What a great option. Comes back. Wait for the jump, wait for the jump. No commitment yet. With a little low recovery. See, that's okay. the problem that I'm thinking I'm having to see here. He's going for the down air, but that's the thing is you don't want to be above Ganondorf because he has the up air, he has a back air if you try to cross him up, and he has the up smash. You don't want to be doing stuff like that. Fortunately, Kasuga, he will definitely take the first game. Okay, wow, yeah. So, I actually forgot what I was going to say, man. <laughs> hey, man, it doesn't matter. Kasuga took game one. Is that biased? From, you know, I, I actually like both of them. I, I'm, I've, I've come into this community like back in Smash 4, and you just didn't like them at first? No, I, I like Bahamut. <laughs> Bahamut's like a cool guy. You know who also I like? Yeah, Alan cool. Gaming 706. Thank you so much for following us, PG Gaming. I apologize to cut you off. I was trying to segue into the follow. I did. I mean, I was almost <laughs> finished anyway. But also, what I was going to say mm -hmm. is that what, I, what I'd like to see Sugar is get a little more aggressive off stage. Mm -hmm. Because Ganon, I mean, he can't get you with that side B anymore. That's actually going to be in your favor, you know, because. Uh, I actually I don't know if Yoshi can make it back in this game. He's got the the eggs. He's got the the, the double jump. I think and the air dodge. So he should be able to make it all the way back if, mm -hmm. if uh, he knows what he's doing. That's one thing that Yoshi has to survive Ganondorf is the double jump armor. Oh, I wanted to oh, see the Nair. I, I respect okay, the yeah. No, I do respect it, but I wanted to see Nair just because you have a lasting hitbox. Yeah, Nair would have been a better choice mm -hmm. there. But I mean, for okay, the morale man. damage, maybe Bear is better. Just yeah. to show him, I know exactly where he's gonna be. Uh, but uh, he missed. So oh. ba Bahamut just going so low there, and uh, Sugar not expecting it. This is close for Bahamut. Literally, once he gets okay, back he on the stage, on. takes center stage, he could be close. It's the fight forward that he had to do for, but unfortunately, like I said, Suga has been trying to kind of react to Bahamut from the ledge, and he caught him slipping that one time. And each, you know, literally, these guys are neck to neck on each other's throats. Yeah, you also need to be careful uh, with the Nair offstage against Ganon because you can get grabbed by the Epi. Of course, you can just rock rock him back based on the percentage. Oh, nice. Now the shield got a gel free card with this tech chase. Oh, Put him to the nice. corner. 
Might look nice, like a small little combo the video here. There. I could tell Suga wanted to be part of the highlight reel. <laughs> yeah, what's going on there? Combo video. One more time? Another one, yeah. Uh, bah Bahamut really needs to hit these techs. I mean, look, there are so many people who missed attack online. Donate them to Bahamut right now, because that's what he needed. Oh, oh, that was close. That was, that was ballsy. Oh, one more time, one more time, one more time. Oh, oh no. you went for the fair. I know, Asuka has actually done this to me several times. <laughs> Even though I'm in the same crew. <laughs> That's the one thing I've always noticed that he does. Okay. He waits for it. One more time. Oh, no. He's still going to make it back. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. See, that's what you have to be careful because that grab hitbox is deceptively big. Uh, okay. Maybe hoping to catch that jump with the F smash there. Muhammad maybe also a little shook. He's about to lose the set. Yeah, he literally. Needs to get one hit. Oh, I have a cross up. Okay, so it's that poking there, which is almost better because it didn't break his shield. Good mix up. Good mix up from Suga. They didn't go for a tech chase. Kind of just went around Bahamut to actually react. Because at this point, Bahamut's kind of conditioned to see how Suga's gonna get that tech chase. So he kind of makes up for the end. Okay. Double jump armor? Uh, no, he actually tried to go for the Eggly. I respect it because he's already gotten so much mileage off of it, and he's got an extra stock to play yeah, with. Yeah, you might as well go for it. I, I mean. If you get that, it, it could be curtains, for sure. Oh. <laughs> that was risky, bro. You could. <laughs> you could have just land down and uh, drop down back air there, and that would have killed him, too. Probably. Uh, so, that's what I wanted to see from Suga we saw earlier here, is now at this point, like I said, earlier when he was playing, he wasn't reacting as much as he should have. I felt like he was just tossing down air to see if his opponent was going to land.